Here's an AMD processor. The processor itself is visible here in the center. It's a Ryzen 9 third generation processor PCI Express 4.0 ready. It's 3D. It has a cooler in this box. This box includes an AMD Ryzen processor, high performance AMD rate prism thermal solution and installation instructions. It has a cut here, built to perform, designed to win. It has a seal here. Zen 2 architecture AMD socket AM4 includes a Ryzen processor, installation instructions, premium cooler designed for use in a desktop PC, VR ready AMD Ryzen 9 3900X. It's a 12 core processor, 24 thread. The maximum speed is 4.6 GHz. The base clock is 3.8 GHz. It has a QR code here. So the socket is AM4. Heat sink and fan is included. 70 megabytes is the total cache. Level 1, 2, and 3. It's unlocked. It requires a dedicated graphics card. So the processor itself does not have a graphics chip on it. That's the most expensive part, the processor itself. That has to be a sticker. Verify that your motherboard supports your processor. So the box is empty. Here we have the cooler. It's pretty large. It has two cables, nothing more. USB. That's a three pin. This has four. The thermal paste is already on it. I just left a small mark there. It has two heat pipes on this side, two heat pipes on that side, four heat pipes in total. This has four pins also. Here is lugged and here is unlugged. So since it has four pins here, you can control the speed, the RPM of the fan through BIOS. If it has only three, then you can monitor the RPM. And if it has only two, then you can just power it. No monitoring and no modifications, unless you are modifying those voltages between the plus and minus. So that is copper and the rest is aluminum. So don't put it down with that part. And here's the processor itself. So it's a Ryzen 9 3900X AMD processor, 12 cores, 60 megabytes of cache, 64 bit processor, a lot of pins. Here's the triangle for orientation when you are inserting it onto the motherboard. It's in the lower left corner. There's a small dot there also. It's not yet installed, but I want to try this cooler of the processor. It's an air cooler and it has a four pin connector. Currently I have a water cooler there. This one says CPU fan. So let's just unplug that one. It has a small thing here on the right side. This also has one there, so it has to go here to that side and to that side. I just want to see if it has some LEDs or not. Power on. At least the mechanical drives should be disconnected. Power. Oops. Wow. Uh -huh. So it has a nice RGB LED. 
is stopped. I'm not sure how it's set up from BIOS, but it's an RGB LED. It's not spinning yet. Maybe it requires more heat. I think I reduced the RPM of this one. So until there is not enough heat in the processor, this should not even turn on. Okay, so that's an RGB. So let's put back the water cooler fan. It's not spinning. Now it's spinning. The RPM is reduced. So I will remove these four screws from the water cooler. It's out. The water will not come out. It's a closed system. So this plate is holding the cooler unit. It has some paste on it. So there's the water cooler of the processor. It has some dust on it. And that's the old Ryzen 1700X processor. By the way, the motherboard, it's a B350 PC Mate from MSI. So it's an older one. But let's clean the processor. That's the thermal paste. It's a Ryzen first generation. Something like that. Raise up this one, slightly to the left and then up, paste. So to the left a little bit and then comes up. And now it's making a click and simply lift up the processor. Take care of those many, many pins. I should vacuum it a little bit, a little bit of paste went there. So that's the old processor. So the old one is on the left and the new one is on the right. I don't really see any difference. So gently vacuum it a little bit. Socket AM4 is visible. Now take a look at this thing. Each corner is at 45 degrees. 45 here, 45 there. But this one is at 90 degrees. Plus it has this sign there at the corner. The same thing here. 45, 45 degrees. But this one it's even marked and the pins are at 90 degrees. Plus it has a triangle. So place that triangle there into that corner. And that is like so. And it entered. You can lift it up a little bit. It's in. Just move this down. Oops, power down. Okay. The surface of the processor is already warm. So the default cooler requires mounting elements here on the side, but I don't have them right now. So I want to use better my own. I have to clean that off. On the back side of the motherboard, there is this plate. It's a plate of this size and that has holes for those four screws. And that is visible here. I have an old paste, I'm not sure if it's good, but I will try it. Let's clean this one. And now put back this one. It won't stay until I put this in at the few screws. The hole which is on the top. Here on the left side. Connect the fan, this fan, that's just an additional cooler. The sound is different, the monitor is still off. We have a red light, it's on. CMOS have been cleared, Ryzen 9, 3900, 12 cores. BIOS is from 2019 November. 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have just one single channel, only one module. F1 to run setup, F2 to load default values. Okay, F2. And Windows should load. Maybe it restarts. 
Red LED turned off, turned on, no signal. There was some hard drive access, windows. Okay, I have to modify the RPM of the fans, they are noisy. The video is not even turned on. Red LED is gone. CPU fan is noisy. The water heaters fan. Windows is still not loaded. Two mechanical hard drives are disconnected for safety. It should not find the desktop, yes. Oops. It's back. Windows and brake. Ryzen 9 3900, 12 core processor, 3.8 GHz, task manager, one socket, 12 cores, that hyper threading thing, SMT I think it's called, it's turned on, seeing logical processors, Vir virtualization is disabled, I have to enable it from BIOS, hyper V support, yes, level 3 cache, 64 megabytes, and logical processors we have a lot Ryzen 9 3900 X is running on a B350 PC mate motherboard the BIOS is updated and Windows 10 is working so the processor update was successful this AMD fan has connectors here on the side plus a low and a high switch you have to remove the small rubber elements so you can plug in those two wires there so heat is transferred into this lower copper side and then into the lower side of these aluminium fins and heat is also transferred through these heat pipes to the top side of those fins four heat pipes I'm here in BIOS and the first observation is the mouse has huge delay. So here at advanced hardware monitor from here you can modify the RPM of the fan. So that's the modification I did for level 1 fan speed. Level 1 is defined here zero I think degrees Celsius for zero degrees which I think will never be I have zero RPM for 20 degrees I have 5% RPM the third temperature level is 65 degrees there I have 20% RPM and at the last one which is 70 degrees there are only 50% RPM and now it's much more silent. And also here on the advanced tab, if you go up, you have the CPU temperature warning control. So the fan is still spinning, it did not stop. So let's enable that one at 85 degrees. There should be a warning, CPU fan fail warning. Let's enable that one also. 